Welcome to Direction Avenue. I'm here with uh, Johnny Mitchell. Um, so uh, tell me about yourself. Tell you about myself. So I guess I could say uh, my name is Johnny. And uh, I kind of, I would say I'm a passionate person. I'm a visionary, someone who really like sees a big picture, you know. It's like I'm a very determined minded like individual. So to say, um, like whenever I have something that I want to accomplish, like I will stop at nothing to make sure that I can do whatever it takes to really just pursue my vision right. of where I want to go, what I want to do. It's the kind of person I am, you know? I uh, do that with music, with everything, interactions, whoever I talk to. Just I just have this vision of love, you know, and hope, things like that, you know? It's awesome. Um, well, tell me how you got started with all this, with the music, I mean. Getting started, I would say it started when I was probably I mean, I came from a musical family, so even at age of, like, five years old, I was playing drums, singing Queen, the same time, you know, playing on my, my first drum set, and um, I started taking guitar lessons when I was about 13 years old, and drum lessons when I was about 14, so since then, I discovered, you know, punk rock music, discovered, you know, like, MXPX, you know, Reliant K, Pennywise, Social Distortion, these, these bands, you know, kind of really influenced me and in, uh, kind of what I wanted to write about, how I wanted to play, and from then it's kind of it kind of took off from there you know the friends i would have that would show me new things and just music just uh music mu uh musicians that i would meet just challenging me to become better at what i was doing uh tell me about direction avenue direction avenue well direction avenue is kind of a a passion that i have that i want to help people also that are involved in music just help discover their passion about if it's a someone just starting out or something like that, where they want to just get their first song out there, just and they have no idea where to turn, where to go to. You know, I want to be able to help them for a budget price. You know, something that someone can afford, something that's you know good quality that they can just put out to kind of show show their passion to the world. You know, help them give help them get it out there. Um, who are your musical influences? Musical influences, man. You know, a lot of it will not just genre style per se. It would be a musical influence to me is a, a band or a musician or somebody that has a strong just vision or a strong message in the music they play. You know, I've, I listen to all sorts of styles, you know, everyone says it, I'm sure, you know, my main influence style, you know, Reliant K, I love the message in their music, you know, I love the message in like 10th Avenue North or, you know, even Social Distortion, you know, it's something that's just a lot deeper, right. you know, even Lecrae, hip hop, totally different styles or, you know, whatever it might be, Beatles, you know, <laughs> right, right. all these the styles that not necessarily depend on genre as an influence, but a lot of message. Now, given the style that I tend to hold on to, as far as how I play music, you know, it's uh, a lot of it, I would say around pop punkish, you know, catchy tunes, riffs, things like that, you know, right. something that gets stuck in your head. Right, right. That's the kind of stuff that I like to do. <laughs> That's always good. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, well, what defines you as an artist? Defines me as an artist, I would say, not just, uh, kind of reiterating, you know, not just genre, not just a musical style. I don't want to be defined by the style I play because there's really no originality in style anymore, really. You know, there's, there's parts of what I can do that will kind of have a sound like me, but, you know, I want to be defined by the message I want to speak through my music, you know, the message of like hope and love and just encouragement. That's what I want to define me, you know, where the message will speak a lot louder than any catchy little riff or melody line that I can write. You know, that's what I want my music to be defined as. Uh, what embarrassing songs might, might I find on your iPod? <laughs> embarrassing songs. I would probably say, uh, I had to look through today. Uh, probably a Kesha. Your love is my drug. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I love Kesha. <laughs> Who doesn't? She's awesome. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um if you could dabble in another genre of music, what would it be? Oh man. If I could dabble in a music, I would probably say some kind of a country folk. <laughs> or some kind of like old school country man with some steel guitar, right. some banjo. Oh yeah. All about it. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Cool. I got gotcha. you. 
Um, okay. Uh, do you enjoy writing music and lyrics? Oh, all the time, man. You know, it's when I'm writing music and just kind of I shut the doors, just kind of take myself out of the world. You know, it gives me that time to focus on what I really want someone to hear through my music, and it kind of lets me push aside distractions of the world. Right. You know, let go of stress or whatever it is and just focus on this moment and focus on, you know, how can I turn what's going on in my life into something that might help someone through what's going on in theirs, you know. So that's, I love it. All day I could do it, you know. So um, so besides obviously singing and you said you played drums, uh, what other instruments do you play? Oh, man. Well, name them off about five, so to say. Probably guitar, drums, my two main, dabble and bass, you know. And um, violin and piano, you know, took them up, you know, so I, uh, but at the time I wanted to budget and hire, instead of hiring someone, oh, I can learn this myself, you know, I'm like, hire people. <laughs> if you want something done right, hire someone, <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, I do dabble in it. It's a lot of fun. I think violin's probably the most funnest instrument I've ever played. So. That's awesome. It's good to kind of learn each one, kind of get inside in each kind of you know, phase of the, of the music process. Yeah, it really, you know, it brings out the appreciation in different instruments. You try and learn it. <laughs> You're just like, this is really hard. It's like, wow, saxophone. <laughs> it's oh my God. You know what I mean? But. <laughs> okay. Um, out of those instruments, do you have a favorite? Oh, totally. Uh, my favorite instrument would be the guitar. Absolutely. Guitar and, uh, yeah, that'd be the guitar. Acoustic, preferably. Acoustic, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. What makes your music unique? You know, my music, as far as uniqueness, would not just be, you know, the uh, get stuck in your head, catchy tunes, you know. It would, it would, back to, I'd really, just the message. What will make mine unique is, <clears throat> I like to separate myself, because everyone talks about, I mean, sex, drugs. Everyone talks about these these topics that, everything that, the society or whoever it is that's leading you tells you that's what you need in the world. This is what you need to be successful. This is what you need. You know what? Right. My message will be, you need love, man. Encouragement. You need to hope for something. You need to, you know, just to let you know that you have purpose. You have a significant place in this world, you know, where you don't have to have these things to be happy. Right. You know, I don't believe joy comes from earthly, these things, just these owning nice, a nice car, owning these nice things, you know? And um, it kind of against the grain in a sense, you know, because that's what I truly believe. So it's a good, it's a good message. Obviously. Yeah. Um, OK. What made you realize that music was your path? Well, my whole life, you know, music has just been like a second language in a sense. You just understand it, you know, and I think I believe I believe language or I'm sorry, I believe music is, you know, a language. I believe that. You could say the same thing to somebody just talking and you could say exactly the same lyric or word in a song with a melody and it could completely just affect you differently. You know, like I believe that music is the most powerful way to influence, the most powerful way to speak into someone's life, you know, and I just think that if you understand that kind of language, you have that gift. I mean, it's something it is not by accident. Right. It's something you need to pursue. And music is just that that language I understand. And I feel like I can do it well and I feel like I can use this to help people. So I'm gonna do it. You know? Awesome. So Um so what's next for you then? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Wherever, you know, wherever God wants to take me next, you know, I know that wherever I am, that's where I'm needed and that's where I should be and I'm gonna do the best that best that I can be and give the best I can give wherever I'm at in this world, you know. So that's, I have no idea what's in store, you know, you never know. Hey, that's so totally, that could be a good thing. yeah, just yeah. being open to yeah. whatever it is that comes my way, you know? Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So tell me about your uh, new record, your new EP. Cool. The new EP is called where shepherds become Kings and uh, it's gonna be five songs and a uh, half kind of pop punk rock and then one acoustic track at the end. And uh, the idea behind the record isn't just to make a record. is isn't about me just wanting to make some money and get famous. It's not about that. You know, it's actually the complete opposite. I want this record to speak truth into people's lives, letting them know that there is hope in the world and that you're loved and that you are not worthless. You know, a lot of people 
they feel that way. You know, there's people all over the world. Just, you know, that feeling if it's, you know, very common. And I just want to kind of go against the grain of what everyone else talks about, that you need this and need this and need this. You're not, you don't amount of it to anything unless you have these things. It's like, you know what? I don't believe in that. I believe that you are worth more than any of those things could ever define how much you're worth, right. you know? And I think people need to hear that. They need to hear that they're perfect the way they are and they're loved so much just for the way they are. They don't have to change a thing about them, you know? Gotcha. And I just want people to understand that they have purpose. They have, you know, a significance in the world. And even if they haven't discovered it yet, you know, it, it's just putting that encouragement into the life to give them the vision or determination to maybe even pursue discovering it. Right. You know, I, uh, that's kind of where the message of this record sits is just, you know, giving hope into the world. And, uh, on second on the record is I have a passion or to, uh, help those in need who really legitimately need help. You know, part of the record release is I am partnering with corporations or, you know, play, or, uh, companies that will build water wells in third world countries, you know, places where clean water is non-existent. Like in America here, we don't have to worry about it. I mean, wherever we go, the water is going to be clean. Like right. we're not have to worry about any bacteria or things that are just going to really harm us. You know, everything's real purified and good. Now you go West Africa, these places where, you know, there's a town of 600 that share one dirty watering hole, right, <laughs> so to right. say, you know, and, you know, water will still kill people. And it's like that to me just doesn't sit well. It's like if there's places, you know, I believe there's that the world should just have a standard, man. I mean, just clean water. Right. I mean, is that I don't believe that is something that someone should still it's 2013. People shouldn't still have to struggle with that. Right. You know, so that's this bigger vision of this record is about helping those who really need the help. You know, everything I make from the CD cells will go straight to helping build these water wells. Just a, the gift of clean water. Right. I mean, to me, that's going to, that's the biggest gift you can give someone, you know, bigger than any car you can give or anything like that. It's like, man, water. Right. So, and uh, that's kind of the vision behind the record and kind of what I want to do with it. That's awesome. You know? Well, that is us from uh, right here at Direction Avenue with uh, Johnny Mitchell. Um, Johnny, thanks for having us, well, you thank know, you being here with you and everything. Coming down. Yep. Thank you. Um, and we'll see you guys next time.